All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can join any two sets of data set at any level, for example, at the count level. So uh, I'm going to go to the CDC website, CDC EPH tracking for from the CDC. And from here, I can go to the CDC tracking network, access the new data explorer, and after that, I'm going to download the cancer, bladder cancer data at the county level for five year, over a five year period. And uh, at the county level data, it's most data for the year 2011, 2015, and then go. So this data doesn't cover the entire U.S. You can see it doesn't cover these areas, Michigan, Illinois. But uh, we want to, if you look at the data, let me, if you click on export and uh, show in folder. So let me extract it here, extract. So there's a CSV file which has the, mm, obviously has the, cancer rate okay so this value shows the cancer rate for each county in the across the u.s and as you can see the data doesn't cover the entire u.s we have more than 3100 uh, counties in u.s so some counties are not incorporated are not included in the data set so but we want to uh, join this information this more than 2700 2,000 and uh, 700 uh, data rec records of the data at the, sh uh, to the to the corresponding shape file at the county level. So when our data is at the county level, we need to have the shape file at the county level for a spatialization. So let me download the data from the Tiger line. For 2018 web interface um, counties and equivalents submit download national data show in folder and let me done let me extract it because ArcGIS cannot read the zip file so and then uh, load your arc map and load both of the data the CSV file and also the shape file that we just downloaded at the county level so let me load both of the information I think it was in the download this PC download so here is the CSV file And here is the shape file of the counties in across the US. So I want to join the information. So we have the so here is the shape file attribute table. I don't have the information of the cancer rate or other information. So how can I mm, join the information? After this field, I want to have the cancer information or append the information to this current data set so I need to find a common field between the shape file and the CSV file so in the shape file the data that you download from the uh, from the tiger line has a field with the name of GeoID and GeoID is equals to the FIPS or federal um, number of each county so each county has a unique number which is called FIPS or federal number for example if you look at Ada County and uh, so let me see let me compare it with the with the reality whether it has the same FIPS or not and uh, I just copy this value uh, FIPS so for the Ada County, the FIPS is 
so for adult county if I open the county fifth code and let me search ADA so it's uh, 16001 for adult county in the Idaho and if you look at the attribute table I can see that it's 16001 so this is FIPS and it is unique for each uh, county so I can use this for joining the information because when I download the data from the CDC it also has a field with the name of FIPS okay and if I find adult county so we can see that the FIPS is the same so these two fields county FIPS and also GOID they contain the same information so I can use this for a uh, joint operation because uh, this is a common field between these two uh, shape, the, the shape file and also the CSV file so uh, for joint operation you need to right click on the join and relates right click on the shape file join and relates join and then uh, first from this shape file we have to uh, tell which uh, column has to be used for join which was GOID and from the CSV it was a FIPS right but we don't have the FIPS so what we can do is we have to the reason that we can't find the FIPS is that uh, in the CSV file if you look at the type of the data it, it's a long integer okay but from the shape file if you look at the GOID it is a string or text so what can I do uh, what I can do is that from the CSV file I have to convert the uh, the, the county FIPS from the long integer or numbers to the text okay so the first step I cannot add a field here so the first step is that I have to export this the CSV as a database file in the same folder with the name of uh, cancer for example and data type of dbase database and save and save so now I can add uh, so it's the same thing but now I can add a field okay I cannot add a CSV add a field to the CSV but for a dbase file I can so I add a field with the name of FIPS but uh, with the data type of text so or a string so I can then I click OK so in this field I want to copy the value from county FIPS to the FIPS so how can I do that I right click on uh, the header and then field calculator yes and FIPS should be county FIPS right I double click on that and then click OK so I can see that the values are the same I just copied the values so uh, now I can use this field so this FIPS equals to the county FIPS right so I can use this FIPS for joining because the data type now is the same okay the data type for this CSV file and the or database file and the shape file is the same so now I can use the join operation join and relate join and uh, from the shape file was GOID from the cancer file was FIPS okay now it works so you can keep all records but as you know uh, some counties didn't we didn't have counties for some parts right so I can just keep only matching records and then click OK what happens if you open up the attribute table of shape file I can see that after uh, this field we had other the information from the cancer field added to the appended to the information and appended to the shape file and now I have the value or cancer value okay so I have added the cancer value to the shape file now I can make a map of the cancer value so if you for example add uh, other variables such as air pollution if you can find a common field such as FIPS I can use the FIPS from the air pollution to the FIPS from here for joining the table so I can join so many variables to this 
data set. So the last thing is that uh, remember that when you do the join operation, join operation is temporary. Okay, so you need to, which means that if I close ArcMap, the, all of the information will be lost. So uh, then the last step is, you, is that you have to export the data, export the shape file, and uh, so with the name of cancer. So it's a shape file. This cancer two. So this shape file is permanent and it has the information of the uh, cancer cancer information.